Let's go ahead and call to order the August 1st, 24 <clears throat> meeting of the Historic Preservation Commission. Um, oh, sorry. I'm rushing you. <laughs> and we'll call the roll when you're ready. Commissioner Fenster. Here. Chairman Lane. Here. Commissioner Jacoby. Here. Commissioner Barnard. Here. Thank you. Okay. So we do have a quorum and can conduct business. Uh, next or item on the agenda would be approval of the July 10th, 2024 meeting minutes. Do any of the commissioners have any comments or corrections? Uh, Commissioner Barnard. I just want to compliment uh, Maria on being able to pull together an extremely active discussion into a <laughs> clear and concise set of minutes. <laughs> so do I hear a motion in there? Okay, I have a uh, motion to approve the minutes from Commissioner Barnard and seconded by Commissioner Fenster. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? None. So the media, meeting minutes are approved. And I did vote to approve them even though I was absent, but we've already established that that is, a, that is something that is acceptable uh, order of um, procedure. So just noting that for anyone who's curious. Um, okay, so uh, next is report from the chair. Um, uh, I have really not a lot, but I did, I was contacted by, um, a writer from the Boulder Weekly, uh, who's doing a feature on the Tower of Compassion. Um, and so I responded to a handful of questions, um, regarding kind of the process and why we think it matters and that sort of thing. So, uh, I guess look for an article in the Boulder Weekly, Weekly coming up, um, so I'm, I'm by default or de facto at least um, getting some of this outreach. Uh, and then, uh, interestingly enough, I also got contacted by the Tinker Mill, who is doing a production on the Sugar Mill. And so um, I don't really know much more than that, but they've asked me to, if I'd be willing to comment, you know, on behalf of the commission. Or, so uh, I'll keep you up to speed on what that ends up being. Commissioner Barner. Um, the staff request, um, you'll probably see these articles before we will, definitely before me, because <laughs> I don't subscribe to any of those things. Uh, if you could, could let us know when they appear, if it's permissible to send them around or to send links that we could open ourselves and at least be aware of it. Sure. Um, and then the other comp, based on the other comment, I did, um, staff did send around possible uh, educational sessions, mm -hmm. uh, and I did attend the one on uh, Sugar Mill, Sugar Mills around the state, and what was going on, and who was, who, which cities were doing what, and then they, they opened the floor, it was a Zoom call, they opened the floor to comments, and I spoke first. <laughs> <laughs> and I talked about, uh, and interesting, the points that I made were echoed by other people in the, uh, from the, uh, cities all around. Um, uh, it, 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 I think there were like 17 uh, certified local governments on the call, all of whom had sugar mills uh, mm. in their uh, community. Mm. And they mostly are, I'd say 99% had the same exact issues that ours is facing and that we face and that uh, as, a, as a city commission and, and that is because the sugar mill is not in the city. Mm. And that was echoed by everybody on the call that for all and they said, well, it really wasn't in the city. It's kind of in the county, but it's right next to us. And, we, and it, the staff then said something about how in most cases they purposely uh, put it in an enclave that wasn't part of the city because they 
for various reasons, I think probably not the least of which is they didn't want the city to be controlling what they were doing. So uh, uh, it was a good call. I mean, I um, uh, not not much came of it other than informing everybody, and it, it made me understand that we were not alone in the issues that we're having to deal with. So. Right. Well, that's that's excellent. I think that's – but that's a potential uh, resource, you know, as we – uh, move forward, and I, I I missed that one as well. It's been a little crazy lately for me, but I did want to. I was hoping to grab that one, so I, I'm glad that you were able to attend at least. Um, you know, be there to soak it in, and we may, we may rely on you to um, comment at a later date. Thank you. Um, all right, let's see. Let the record show that Commissioner Norton is present. This is real good. <laughs> <laughs> Let the record show <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see communications from staff all right yeah i unfortunately was not able to attend that um sugar beet clg webinar either holly would you happen to know if before i reach out to lindsay does she ha do they keep recordings of those webinars i think we sometimes do it should be on our youtube channel okay Perfect, perfect. I think that would be of interest to a lot of the commissioners as well, because Commissioner Barnard, I think, was the only one who was able to, to tune into it, and it sounds like it was a good one. I know um, the this month's funding and training and updates for August that I sent earlier today um, does have some links to other to, to some of the information from that as well, with a map showing the location of the sugar factories around the state um, and some additional information about the sugar beet industry. So. Um, yeah, we'll share that information. I sent that. I did send that information with as, as, as well as um, some upcoming webinars this month as well. So for any anything that might be of interest um, from the city staff side um, on the article for Boulder Weekly, uh, the reporter did reach out to me for possible contacts um, for the Kanemoto family. Um, I did also copy, we do have a new uh, public information officer um, with the city, Rogelio Mares, who is um, very keen to be included on those things, so I looped him in as well, just so he was aware of what's going on. Um, relating to the Tower of Compassion, um, we do have our public here, our city council dates for that set. Um, we'll be doing our first reading at the August 13th uh, city council meeting, and the public hearing will be on the September 10th um, city council meeting. Uh, normally it would have been on the 27th, but I have a conflict on the 27th, so I was not able to attend that one. So September 10th, we should uh, have a, a, a freshly minted landmark in the city of Longmont. Awesome. So, um, yeah, it happens to be, unfortunately, with the budget hearings, but I think it'll be a nice, short, feel-good item for the council. So, which so Do I that we, first, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I think they would. Yeah, I, I believe they would. I, I would hope they would, So, um, because it is an item on second reading, so typically, or, yeah, on, on public hearings, so that should be fairly quick, I would hope. Um, let's see. We have a new uh, commissioner who is not able to be here this evening, but will be here on, sun on September. Um, our September 5th meeting, Don Tarek, she unfortunately was at, had a conflict for this evening, but um, now has a clear calendar for the first month, first Thursdays of the month. Um, in since our last meeting, we did issue one administrative certificate of appropriateness. That would be for the Hover Home um, Garden Shed. There, they had a pretty significant hole in the roof um that needed to be dealt with so um, we did review that administratively they are basically replacing the shingles that are on the roof with a very similar but probably more highly rated <laughs> impact shingle i think they had they had hail damage which i know is a common story um in the last year or so <laughs> with roofs so um so we we issued that i've actually been working with our newest associate planner on you know kind of how do we determine what what's administrative and what's um you know needs to go to the commission so hopefully i'll be bringing her to the um september meeting so everyone can meet her, her name is melanie nesky so um great asset so i'm having help having I'm teaching her how to do a lot of the some of the reviews and what to look for and everything so we can have you know back up <laughs> more than anything um there we mentioned i i know at the last meeting we mentioned a proposed demolition at 844 baker street um chairperson lane and i did conduct an initial review of that request there's a requ it's um basically corner of ninth and baker's in the historic east side it's um 
within the original town. So it's kind of basically our first test of our new demolition ordinance. Um, so we um, determined that it should be referred to the full commission for review. Um, we were originally planning to take it tonight's meeting, but given the weird compressed month we had and the fact that this is the first time we've used this section of the ordinance, um, there was a notice error. So we'll be taking it on the September to the September meeting for everyone to take a look at as far as whether or not it, it meets the threshold to be referred um, for consideration for landmark status. Um, that will be a decision for the, the commission as far as w whether or not we should proceed with that. Um, in a nutshell, the property owner is looking to demolish a small home on a large lot, subdivide the lot and build two new single family homes. Um, so, so we'll, we will be discussing that at the September 5th um, meeting. Survey plan, I expect to have a draft report next week. So we will have that at September as well. So we should have a pretty beefy agenda in September. So have dinner beforehand. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> or pack granola bars. <laughs> so um, beyond that, I believe I have covered everything. Um, oh, let's see. Nope, I already covered that note as well. So, um, and, Holly, and Commissioner Norton, you were not here when I initially handed out the envelopes. Basically, those are the appreciation appreciation tokens from the boards and commissioners uh, recognition reception that was held earlier this summer. So, I forgot to bring them last month, so I have them this month. Um, with that, I do not have any other items. Okay. Uh, any questions for staff, Commissioner Barner? Did, did I miss an envelope or did I get it some other way? I think you, you, you attended the... So I got it. Yeah, you got it. If you attended the reception, <laughs> you got it. I got it then, okay. The, the, all right. Um, yep, if there are no other questions for staff. My uh, only comment on the um, 844 demolition uh, review that we're going to take a look at next week is to just be, I would... Uh, ask that all the commissioners do find their way to the property. I think this is important enough that you actually see it in person um, prior to to making any kind of a, a recommendation. So it's, it's not far. <laughs> um, I would ask that you do that. All right. Uh, great. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, uh, next, we have public invited to be heard. Uh, seeing no one in the audience, I'm going to open and close the public um, invited to be heard section. We do not have any public hearings or new business. Uh, and our looks like our only prior business is the fact that we have a new commissioner who unfortunately is not here. So this might be an absolute world record. Um, <laughs> Uh, I will open the floor to any comments from HBC commissioners. Uh, all right. Commissioner Jacoby. Okay. Well, as, as most of you know, because I've told you over and over, I've, I've done tours of the historic east side, um, trying to raise awareness of the historic value of the neighborhood. Um, I just want to tell you now that um, I made a book of the tours. So for everybody out in Longmont Public Media Land, a walking cool. tour in Old Longmont is available at the Used Book Emporium on the 300 block of Maine. It's available at Bricks on Maine on the 400 block. It's available at the Longmont Museum. Or you can get it on Amazon. You just have to, on Amazon, type in a walking tour in Old Longmont. And it's $12. And um, I've learned that if your name isn't J.K. Rowling or Stephen King, if you want to sell things, the best way to sell a book is to buy it yourself and give it away. <laughs> so I, I've got a copy for all the commissioners and for planning tonight. Um, but one other point, after you breathlessly read it, um, if you think it's worthwhile, point it out to your friends who are historically inclined. They may want to buy it. They might want to buy it. and. Uh, I can recoup some of my costs. And the last point about it is that the importance of the historic surveys we're doing. The majority of the information in this book I got from the historic surveys that are already done. Um, and they were posted online and hopefully will continue public access, especially as the city comes up with a new website. But uh, it shows some of the importance of the historic surveys. 
So I'll give you all a copy of this. Great. Thank you, and congratulations on that effort. Yeah. That's not yeah. insignificant. There uh, you go. Thank you. Commissioner right. Barnard. Thank you so much. Sure. Yes. Um, thank you. Just to let the thank commissioner know that um, with the support of the staff, uh, I will be attending the uh, On the Road Saving Places conference in Steamboat Springs, which starts the, the day after our next meeting. So I'll be coming to the meeting and then driving to Steamboat Springs the next morning. Um, I did go last year to La Junta, found it extremely valuable. It's, it's much smaller than the one that's in Boulder. Uh, so it's a much more, uh, uh, you have much more opportunity to interact with people from around the state who do come. And they, um, the local communities are very proud of what they have to, to, to offer. I, I probably use the example of La Junta hundreds, hundred times in conversations about what, what the options are to becoming a ghost city. Uh, and uh, Steamboat Springs isn't the same, but you know, at the same time it has some, um, I went to the, uh, you, were, you were there too, to the presentation they made um, about this girls camp that was there a hundred years ago, uh, and that was for wealthy girls to go and study uh, over the summer and and learn the arts and sciences and whatever. And, and that's still around. It's still there. It's still in operation. I think it's boys and girls now, but it what one time was it was the only opportunity or one of the only opportunities for young women to get any type of of arts training. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. I won't have anything to report on September 5th other than I'm probably tired from packing, but uh, uh, I'll give a report at the October meeting. Great. Thank you. Any other HBC comments? No? All right. I, yeah, I think that is absolutely a world record. Um, uh, Mayor Peck is uh, not present here tonight, so we don't have any ca uh, comments from our city council. So we are on adjournment. I move that we adjourn. Second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moved by Commissioner Norton and seconded by Commissioner Barnett. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thank you all for making it out here. Mm -hmm.